Hello friends, welcome back to Node.js tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about the streaming concept. Streams are objects. Basically, it's used to read some data from the source or we can write data into the destination in the continuous way, right? So in Node.js, basically four types of streams. First things, readable stream, writable stream, duplex and transform. So I will discuss each things step by step. In this video, we are going to discuss about the first two streams of Node.js, basically readable stream and writable stream. So what actually did, uh, by name you can understand, readable streams is used to read some operation or read some data from the source and writable stream is used to write some operation, right? So let's see some example with this, right? And another thing in the Node.js, in the streams, there is an event emitter, right? And in event emitter, there are different type of instance, basically it stores the different events as a different instance of times, right? Uh, suppose if you want to fetch some data or if you want to read some data which is available into your particular source and there is another event emitter instance that is the end instance uh, basically is first when there is no more data to read right and there is obviously error and the finish statement so we'll discuss these things step by step right so first let's focus on the readable stream right so actually in the section this is the index.js and there is some files already we have created in our previous video so i will use that things also so here we have a demo.txt so basically this will be as a source of data so here is something written here hello this is from text file now i want to fetch this data using the readable stream right so how we can do this simply to use any file related operation we to use the fs modules right so basically fs is file system module so how we can do this simply just include this fs and to include right require fs right so file system modules included into your application now to read some data so to read some data let's use var reader stream right so anything suppose read stream Stream read stream and we to use the fs module methods that is fs that is fs create read stream right and inside here we have to pass the file name so here my file name is demo.txt so simply write demo.txt right actually this will read the data from demo.txt right first we will uh, going to print some data or we we'll, or we'll going to fetch the data from the read stream right so simply just use the read stream dot on right we will create a function basically the closer function and inside here we will print this so how we'll print this simply write i want to get some data here and let's define here var data equal to initially blank right and here simply write data and here just create a closer function function and here simply write uh, the chunk right you can write chunk so we can access this chunk variable from inside the closer function right so simply just concatenate all the data like this data chunk right so basically it will read all the things step by step from the demo.txt and will concatenate with the data so if i just going to print this data we can print the data all the data which are getting from here right now to print the data we need to use another thing so i said there are four types of event emitter so first one was data the second one will be the end so i have to close the data so I do close this so that uh, right read stream dot on will use another event that is um, end right so I will print all the data from inside here so simply write function sorry function and inside here just go and print 
so simply console all the data so console log data so in this step if i just going to print the output so just go to the terminal and simply use node index.js let's print this so we are getting hello this is from text file right so now we are getting all the data now if i just get some error suppose we are calling demo.txt but unfortunately if there is no file in such name suppose demo uh, new dot txt then what happened then it will throw a error so run again so it's throwing error to handle this error we have another things that is the error right in the same way just go here and paste this and here just write e -R -R -O -R, error right and inside the function we just get the error and simply just print error dot stack right and now if i just run this again and we can see the error that is no such file or directory open demo new dot txt right so now just change to the original name which is already exist and to run this we are getting the data basically this is all about the read sim functionality all right now the thing is if i want to write some data into the files or into the demo.txt so let's clear this then we will use the um, write stream functionality right suppose we have a demo.txt now i just want to create another file and i want to use the write stream here so just close this here and inside the data i just want to print something suppose i just want to write hello this is node.js stream tutorial right so i just write this thing and i want to print these things into a separate file so how are you going to print this simply very simple just use another type of stream that is the write stream right so simply write pair um, write stream and simply uh, not write stream actually this will be the keyword so i just want to change the name um, write data right and now just go fs dot and create another function or call another function that is create a write stream right and i want to write in a file that is something dot um, txt file so i want to create a txt file suppose uh, test dot txt make sure we have not this type of file there is no file if there is a file no problem it will override that file otherwise it will create that file right and now just set the data right so the next thing is i want to call the right stream or and call the right data so write data dot right function right and here i just want to set the encoding format so it is very important always to mention the encoding format it will be a good practice and here i just write utf8 format so this is the standard format and we can use these things and now and now just close this so write data dot end so i just closing these things so now if we just want to call the js file so it's not getting any output because we have not console any things but still we will get test dot txt with the data right now if i just want to get the output or if i want to get the success message or let's say there is lots of data and it will take some time to complete this so now i want a status that is if there is all the data is written over the file then i want output and i want a flag that is data written successfully or my data is completed so how to do this so we have another event emitter that is write data dot on so and let's use the finish right 
so write finish and here just create a closer function so function and inside the function just paint the console log something so console log and here something write data written successfully right and now run this again and we can get output data written successfully and we are getting the same things right so in the same way if i just want to get any error notification suppose there is any error when writing the stream that time we can handle the error also so simply just like your read stream we have another event that is error so simply write error and let's handle this error from here simply write error and in the console log write err dot stack right so just go here and write this again data written successfully and just go here and we are getting right so this is all about the readable stream and writable stream in the node.js so basically it will be hugely used things in your application so we'll discuss all the things and after that we'll discuss some other points uh, like uh, these things duplex and transform so we'll discuss in the next topic so basically all the stream will hugely use in your application when you are going to create any api related things it will need very it will need very much so we'll discuss all the things so we'll discuss streams and then we'll discuss other topics and then we'll go the frameworks like express we'll connect with the mongo we'll connect with the mysql we'll create a project oh. you will like this video and please comment if you have still any queries about this video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye.